Hello everyone and welcome to the 19th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now, in this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations here on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features, and finally we test them out in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know if you'd like to see any of our future videos. Why they don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified of any upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of the episode. So to kick this week's episode off, the first creation we have is the Apollo Lunar Excursion module. This is done by a content creator called Daylight. Once again, you guys are quite familiar with this content creator's work on the workshop. Now, this is obviously meant to be the NASA manned lunar landing vehicle. Along with that, it's also meant to be fully operational and working. He said that himself and also Maniac has been working on this creation itself. Quite nice, looks beautiful from what I can see in the screenshot. So what we're gonna do is spawn in as always, see how it works and see how it operates here in the world of Stormworks. So spawning in the first creation here, you can see this looks absolutely awesome. Uh, really, really cool to a proper module itself. Um, quite a lot of detail going along everywhere. I love these little legs that are coming out on the sides and supporting it. Seems to got obviously a kind of like a fake ladder going up the front there. So what we're going to try and do is let's try and actually get in here. Um, now, as I said, it is apparently fully working. Uh, let's go and get here. See if we can get up into here. And if I'm correct, we go and get the push button to come in. What do we have inside here? I wonder if there's a, can we close this? Seems like it might be an auto closing system. Uh, we'll see how that works. I'm gonna even stand up in here. Okay, uh, where should we start? Um, seems like we have a roof access there. Uh, along with that is some handles on some th winches for some reason or some electrical things. We have some um, Arctic clothing over there. A couple different pumps. Uh, there's a couple different um, Electrical circuit breakers, also front spotlight. We have throttle, compute power, um, pressure. I'm guessing depressure. Okay, along with that is commander seat and pilot seat. We also have ah, uh, there's the button to close that door. Backlights. Uh, let's get internal lights on. Also fire DPS. Fire DPS uh, work as a board two. We also have autopilot, non-functional, and a heater. We have the safety detached fuel cell deactivate auto abort and silence fuel alarm along with that is a sample storage bin huh interesting okay cool and then docking magnets and a hatch i'm guessing that just goes up onto the roof okay cool so let's go and i don't even know how to start this thing to be honest uh, what do we have keypad ds auto hover hmm interesting so let's get um compute power on maybe okay Let's get the pressurize on, throttle, front spotlights. Does that turn anything on? So yeah, so you got the front spotlight there. Okay, cool. Backlights on, internal lights are on. Can we get, what else do we need to get on here? Hmm, not sure, maybe DS auto hover. Okay, throttles on. Seems like everything's good. Let's get into the commander seat. Pitch roll, so on and so forth. Pilot seats. Okay, what else do we have? Autopilot non-functional heater we don't need. Should get the safety. And that's detached fuel cell. It doesn't seem it does anything. Do active auto board. No, we don't need that. Can we just go and use our controls? Doesn't seem like it. Huh, interesting. Maybe we need to put the throttle up. Interesting. How do we start this thing? Is the main question here. Ah, uh, we need to fire it. There we go. Oh, wow. Hello. So we got our. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we're now up in the air, and we can actually control it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I'm guessing you could go and land on somewhere. Oh, hello. There we go. And now we're dropping down. We're dropping down. I wonder if there's is there a parachute anywhere? I'm sure there must be a parachute somewhere. Um can we go here? Ooh. Where do we hit the parachute button? I haven't seen one. Um maybe it goes off automatically. Possibly. Yes it does. Look at that. And you can see now we are going towards the earth and we're making our landing. 
pretty cool uh pretty cool creation very unique and different something you obviously haven't seen a lot of here in stomach so really nice creation so let's go ahead and move on to the next one and moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Water Missile Mark IV. This is done by a content creator called Paying Alimony to Reality. Now, as it says in the name, this is going to be a water missile. It's going to be able to obviously go and shoot anything you want to. He's gone and actually loaded on 10 um, of these actual missiles onto a little platform, which will spawn in and see how it works. Uh, we'll actually kind of diagnose the missiles, see how they operate, what he's doing there. And obviously we'll shoot a couple things. So let's go ahead, spawn this in and see how it works. So spawning in the next creation, I've used the mission editor to spawn this in, just so we can do it here on land. Now, first thing we can see is we have a some type of engine here. I'm presuming this is generating power to power all these batteries that are actually powering these actual missiles themselves. Along with that, uh, we seem to have some type of rail system going along the sides. Um, our controls over there and the gun mechanism there. But it seems like we have like an auto loading system that's going over to that. Along with that, we have all the missiles. Um, they look pretty straightforward. Um, seems like we have electrical engines, some gearboxes, some generators. Um, the actual water it's water jet itself and then some fins at the back to obviously control that um also seems like we have yeah we have 10 of these going on here which is pretty cool seems like it goes up onto the rail system over there drops down into our loading mechanism and then sends it off so you can see how that works all this logic is obviously all explodes this is just a proof of concept we seem to have a reload and a cancel reload button there just in case there is anything going wrong now moving on to it uh let's see jump in the pilot seat we have charge, launch, and automatic mode. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit charge, see what happens there. Doesn't seem like anything is going. Let's do the reload. Okay, it seems like something's happening. Okay, it's taking the first one. It's dropped it on there. Let's go and aim our device. Let's go and shoot it towards the end of the runway here. Can we go in a little more left? Seems like that is our limit. Okay, fair enough. Oh no, 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 now it's turning, okay. Let's turn a little more and let's drop it down. Okay, and we're aiming for the end of the runway there. And you can see we have like a little bit of a gauge there. That's pretty cool, like a little aiming, aiming mechanism. Along with that is we have the launch automatic mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, whoa, hello. Okay, so it's fired it now. Automatic mode seems like it's just gonna go and take it, aim it back at the target, I'm guessing, and then launch it off. And it's gonna continue to do that if I'm correct. Yep, so aims it back up, takes it on, launches it off, and you can see there it's using the water cannon or water jet to actually shoot off. Pretty cool system. Um, I really like how it's going and doing the auto loading system. And obviously, proof of concept, really good. Um, you can obviously add these to any creations or possibly modify this. Obviously, please make sure you do credit it if you are going to be modifying it or speak to the owner of this, which is quite nice. But really nice, cool concept. Uh, nice see it's been done. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the LTM 1030. This is the mobile crane. It's done by a content creator called Sir Murtak. You guys know his work on the workshop. Absolutely amazing stuff over there as always. Now, this crane itself, or actual mobile crane, uh, has quite a different um, set of features. Six-speed gearbox, there's a whole bunch of 360-degree turning circle. 7,000 liters of fuel tank along with that. There's a couple different things. Uh, top speed of 25 kilometers per an hour. Apparently it's able to lift about 20 tons of weight, which is quite impressive. So as always guys, let's go ahead and spawn this in, see how it works. And spawning in this mobile crane here, you can see starting around, just looking around, um, looks really cool. A lot of attention to detail, especially with the paint blocks going everywhere. You can see those paint blocks there. It's all along the side. Seems to be a ladder that goes up to the side there. Also, we have the name there. Seems to be a, I'm guessing, cab door that goes into the cab, yeah, for passenger. Pretty cool. Seems like we have the crane on the front here. Uh, once again, a lot of detail here. Number plates, really nice to see. We seem to have the arms that are coming out, support arms. Once again, pilot seat over there. We have, once again, a lot of detail going all the way around here, which is really nice to see. We have the actual crane controls over there. So let's see if we can see getting into the cab and see what's going up in here. Now, it's closing the door. We seem to have our cab lights and our heater. We can get that turned on. Cool, where is the heater? Mm, I'm guessing it's behind the seat somewhere. Can't really see it now. We have a all-wheel steering, throttle override, switch to generator, key switch, get the key switch on, current gear, indicators, hazards running lights beacons hazards okay is there a gear 
Let's see, let's put in gear gear one. Are we going? Is there a handbrake anywhere? Oh, there, press one. Okay, and looks like we should be going. There we are. We are moving along now. Oh, very nice. Seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, we can obviously get the gears up. Start to move a little bit quicker. Does slide around a little bit. Um, but that's perfectly fine. It's still a really cool creation. Let's go ahead and hit the parking brake. Turn that back off. And let's go test out the actual crane mechanism itself. So let's open that door. Get out the seat chair. And let's close that main door there. And let's see how the crane works. Seems like we have a refueling port there. Let's go up into the crane. I'm guessing we just open the door. Climb up. Get into the seat. Okay, we can close that door. What do we have here? We have warning lights, boom lights, cab lights, and work lights. Get those all on. We have the outriggers. We have the stabilizers. Let's get those out. Let's go and turn some of these lights off. It's quite bright. I have to say, um, work lights. Yeah, that's but no. Warning lights, no. Boom lights, no. Cab lights, no. Let's turn all of them off. There we go. Much better. Okay, uh, let's get your support beams out. Let's get them all the way out. Then you just do that and brings it all the way out. And then we can then start dropping them down. Just by doing that. And it says you want to just lift it until the wheels are lifted off the ground. Okay, let's have a look. And you can see we're off the ground. That's perfect. I think the next one is to hit the mag so we stabilize it. We also have the crane. Oops, I don't know what that does. Leave it for now. Boom out, boom out. Crane attachment toggle. Hmm, I wonder what that does. We'll leave it like that, maybe to disable the crane. Okay, so we have AD's rotation. Uh, WS is main boom. Okay, seems like it's locked. Locked there. I don't know if that should be like that or not. I'm guessing it is. Um, and you have cable up, cable down. And that's for the cable on the front, if I'm correct. Yes, it is. You can see that. But let's go ahead and extend this out. So boom out, so you can see it's now extending that all the way out. I'm guessing this probably goes quite long too. And extend it all the way out. It seems like we have dropped a little bit in the front, that's fine. And we can now go and extend it and lift it up. I'm sure this can probably, as I said, it's got 20 ton lift capacity, which is pretty high. Uh, I'm not too sure about those things, if they are meant to still be attached there or not. Um, it could be interesting. I'm guessing, okay. Does that do anything? No, that's just for the crane attachments. Uh, interesting. Not too sure uh, about those arms, those little pieces there. But overall, really cool creation. Uh, really nice. A lot of details gone into this. And it looks absolutely amazing. So really good job on that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the USS Ernie. This is apparently a sinkable ship. It's done by a content creator called Meph. Once again, I think he's been on the episode uh, quite a few times already, if I'm correct. Now, with the ship itself, apparently going to be quite a close replica. Not exact, but a close replica to the original one, um, which was actually apparently sunk in 1942 or fatally damaged. Um, not too sure, as he said in his description. Looks pretty cool. Um, seems to have quite a few different features. Um, along with that, as I said earlier, is sinkable. We'll see how it runs, how it actually goes, and what extra features is added on. But of course, we need to spawn it in and test it out at the same time. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this boat looks really cool. A lot of detail has gone into it. There's a whole bunch of things going on pretty much everywhere. So what it is, let's go and um, jump on and actually start at the back and work our way forward if we can. Now it seems like we just go up the ladder here, no fancy doors or anything, just pretty much straightly walk on. Now coming in the back here, we seem to have some type of, I'm guessing like area where you can go and load cargo. Maybe a boat goes in here, I haven't seen anything from the screenshots I saw. Um, but moving along, seems to be a door to come into here just an empty room, nothing spectacular in there. Uh, moving along, a whole bunch more details going along, which looks pretty cool. Seem to have a, I guess an equipment room inside here, heater and some lights also. Let's go ahead and close that off. What else do we have moving along? A couple just winches and things. I'm guessing that's meant to be like a fire extinguisher of some sort. Seem to have a crew area in here, almost like a, um, like a mess. We also have, I'm guessing, storage and what's in the front here. Oh, and this is the front access hatch. Okay, interesting. 
goes this to the front we have a gunner here i'm guessing it's fully working let's go in here uh fluid refill and fire what's fire do okay so it's an actual cannon um just obviously water at the moment and it does move does turn around um elevates and everything that's pretty cool nice to see that's actually fully operational instead of just doing it there for decor it's quite nice to see as always let's try and get out of the seat now along with that uh doesn't seem like anything else major on this front deck let's go and come back into our uh, i think it's galley i don't know how i would call this what do we have in here uh seems to have a ladder or staircase that goes down we have some more crew cabins there in the front along with that is what do we have in here some more crew cabin yeah some more crew cabins over there um some seating area along with that is looks like there's another storage mess of some sorts down here let's go around and let's see if we can find if there's anything else what is that oh just a light okay interesting it's gonna put the, the light on the floor let's go and move down here a bit anything else in here oh there seems to be a walkway that goes down into here um, some piping down there move along okay seems like we have I'm guessing engine room firefighting equipment we have engine starter throttles okay so let's get the throttles up let's get the fuel pumps on let's get the lights uh, we'll leave the lights on for now get the starter on the starter on make sure those are all on working cool get the lights off seem to have some engines some lights some more firefighting equipment okay cool so we have the engine room nicely he's gone ahead and include an engine room in this build let's see i'm gonna start making our way up and see what else we have so we have some ladders here that takes us to the next area where we i think we were at originally yes we were let's now get up to the next level which i think is if i'm correct is outside up the ladder yes it is so let's move around hot on the outside of the deck just once again a bunch more details in there we won't go into the main cabin just yet let's have a look around on the sides uh we have this what's in here seems like just some more storage in there pretty cool we have two little gunners on the back here do they move oh they do well okay cool and they elevate and move pretty cool you can actually get a nice outlook at the boat itself now it seems like he hasn't painted the bottom um a little bit sad I'm get, i don't know if that he is wanting it to be like that so it seems to be a flat bottom um obviously perfectly fine you never see it at the end of the day um but it's nice when the users will go and all the creators will go and put the extra attention to detail in making their hulls look really cool underneath but there's nothing wrong with that still great cre cool, cool creation at the moment let's go and test out these lifeboats to that see what would actually work um seems like we get in we have a brake and then the throttle lever okay other direction no and I'm guessing we just push it off push it oh hello there we go does it float yeah and it's fully working lifeboat don't think there is any electricity or any power to those um, but still cool that they actually work at the end uh, go up here and we'll see what else is up here seems like we have some spotlights um, some some manual controls on top of them at the top there and let's go back down and see if we can get into the actual bridge and see what's going on inside the bridge area here now the boat does seem to be leaning i think that's because we took the lifeboat out um seems like we have a map what is that blinking lights okay seems to have a map on the side there which is pretty cool we have the sink unlock okay clutch reverse ship lights anchor lights mag anchors so on and so forth and we have the helm now can we just use that now i think we need to get the clutch off so let's get the clutch see are we moving i think we are let's see yeah we are we are moving let's see if we can turn it ship seems to be turning yeah the rudders are turned yeah ship is turning pretty stable uh doesn't seem to be leaning too much seems to be going perfectly no issue well, it's obviously not a huge high top speed but we're not expecting that at the end this is a, a nice old ship um not expecting it to go cruising at a high speed but overall really nice ship i uh, love the detail a lot of detail has gone into it. it looks pretty cool at the end of the day so let's go ahead and move on to our next creation and moving on to the last creation of the episode we have the mlaf 
PS40. This is done by a content creator called N7. Now, as I continue from the workshop itself, not much information there. Um, just probably as far as I can see, it's going to be a heavy bomber. Along with that, you do need a mission to spawn this in. Looks pretty cool from the obviously picture I can see here on the workshop. But as always, guys, let's spawn this in, see how it works, how it flies, and we can go from there. So I've gone ahead and spawned this and I've used it a mission editor to spawn it just at the end of the runway here. Now, straight away, you can see this thing is huge. First off, it looks absolutely amazing. It does, is a little bit laggy, unfortunately, and does seem to be moving a little bit to the back. I'm guessing the brakes might be off. That's fine, we'll work quickly and see if we can get it. it seems like we have a entrance hatch in there. We have the propellers all along on the sides with, I'm guessing, the turbines inside there. Uh, moving along doesn't seem just like another place for our wheels to go in seems to be a ladder to go up there we also have a gunner's position over there and not much else going along another gunner position on that side and a few of them going around now as I said not much else detail let's go and get in here and see if we can just quickly climb up here and just put these brakes on before we end up going in the actual water itself now I'm guessing we just crouch and there we are so we're up here Let's see if we can get up to the next floor and get into the pilot seat. Is there a break anyway? Bombay, wheel power, gears. The gears are out. Uh, we have brakes. Okay, I've got the brakes on finally. Okay, so let's carry on exploring while we're here. Now, on the left-hand side, we seem to have a whole bunch of engine controls there. or well, not controls, but gauges. We also have a beautiful map there. He's gone and put... That's really nice. And we have a open window. Oh, what's that there? Oh, okay, so you can actually go out to the window there. Oh, that's quite nice. Pretty cool. Uh, let's move along. What else do we have here? Seems like we have... Um, I don't know what that does. We seem to have a whole bunch of things. I'm guessing this is looking into something. I'm not too sure what it is looking into. Um, we have the another gunner position up there. We then have the back area. Ooh, didn't fall down. I think I just fell down. I'm guessing this is a... Oh, this is the re underneath gunner. Okay, that's pretty cool. What else do we have up here? Um, okay, so I guess the bombers maybe go along here, possibly. We have the two side gunners going on the side, and we have the rear gunner over here. Okay, cool. Is there any... Is it? Does it move? No, it doesn't seem like it moves at all. Just there for show. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. I don't think there is any way for us to get to the side, side gunners, unfortunately. But let's carry on going. Let's go back into the cockpit, see what else we have going up in the cockpit there. Just moving along long way down here. I'm guessing this is where all the bombs go. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure what's underneath here. Also, it seems like it's nothing at the moment. We seem to have firefighting equipment there. Let's move along and see if we can get back into the cockpit here. Now, going into the cockpit, we have a big seat. Um, as I said earlier, we have the hot sauce override. Can't use normal controls. We have wheel power, bomb bay door, drop bombs, gear, gear out, brake, starter, wheel power, emergency, weight loss, throttle, lights, and reverse. Okay, so let's get the throttle up. Let's get our starter on. Okay. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Hopefully these engines are going to turn over. Let's see if we maybe get the throttle up a little bit more. Take the wheel power off, maybe. Does the engines seem like they're going? They are getting there. Do we have anything on the cock there? We seem to have a hatch that opens the. I'm guessing opens this, which is pretty cool. Okay, hello. Ooh, we're taking off. We're taking off. We need to get the brakes off. That might help us. Oh, that's the gears that's the brakes okay okay we're up in the air wow that's quick this is very quick okay we might need to decrease this rod a little bit it seems like we're going fine everything seems fine it seems like we have damaged something on the way out yeah we damaged the rear part of the plane uh, that's my part for making the lift off too quickly can we get the bombay door open okay there we go now we have our bombs okay that's pretty cool Oh, very nice. Uh, let's go and see if we can just get this stable here. So it seems like we are lifting. Okay, it seems like we're stable now. Okay, and let's... Okay, let's open that up. And let's drop bombs. 
What's happening? Oh, I haven't seen anything. There goes bomb. There goes two. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. And they're all dropping. Oh, that looks absolutely amazing. Really cool. And you can obviously change the flights. Oh, really nice. Really nice. They seem to be floating, or is that just me? Ah, uh, they're dropping. They are dropping eventually. Overall, very cool creation. Um, very nice. Huge. Does lag a little bit, but obviously we, it is such a big creation. Overall, really, really nice, and seems to be flying quite well. Also, we can go ahead and close those doors now, and we can go and fly as we feel fit. Um, absolutely massive, massive creation. Once again, guys, remember to use a mission editor to spawn this in if you want to. I think he does have one on the workshop, which you guys can go ahead and use. Um, but yeah, pretty cool creation. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.